Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be testing some Nest Protect smoke detectors, or I should say smoke alarms. Now these are, I'd say, the best residential smoke detector you can get. These are the Gen 2s. These have a photoelectric smoke detection chamber as well as CO detection, which is important in this house where we have natural gas present for a few appliances. Like I said, these also do CO, but I don't really know a safe way of how you can test CO. Now, I'm going to be using this smoke check spray to test these. So, Nest Protect detectors are really good. They have a very loud voice. There's some Kitta detectors that also are speaking, but the voice from them is barely audible. It's so quiet. These actually have a proper speaker that actually outputs a pretty good volume for voice. Now, let's give these a test. First of all, I'm going to do just the test or the drill. Now I do have three of these in this house, one per floor. This house was built in 2003 in Canada, so they were not required in bedrooms yet. So if I hit the button, that will do a test. Ready, in the entryway. Press to test. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. It's going to be loud. The test starts in five seconds. Press to cancel. <phone rings> Testing smoke. Testing carbon monoxide. Now we'll hear the other ones on the other floors activate. Just a moment. Testing. probably hear the one in the very basement just chirp too. So that is the testing feature on them. Now let's do a real activation. So now these detectors actually have a pretty cool feature where if they just sense a little bit of smoke but not enough to pass the threshold of an alarm, they will give you sort of a pre-alarm warning where they will warn you that the detector may go off. So I'm going to try and replicate that by just doing a little bit of smoke. So hopefully not enough to set it off right away, just enough to give you that pre-alarm. So, let's wait. Heads up, there's smoke in the entryway. The alarm may sound. So we Emergency. Too much. There's smoke in the entryway. Emergency. Emergency. To silence. There's smoke. Emergency. In the entryway. Press to silence. Emergency. There's smoke in the entryway. Press to silence. Smoke. In the entryway. Emergency. There's smoke in the entryway. Press to silence. Emergency. There's smoke in the entryway. Press to silence. The smoke alarm is over. There we go. So it's automatically silenced, I guess. Not enough smoke anymore. Now is what I want to do is go to our upstairs one and just give it a little bit of smoke and see if we can actually do a pre-alarm and see what happens if it just does a little bit of smoke. It did that last time, but I did a little bit too much, so I just gotta be a little more patient and let it slowly smoke up and see what will happen. So now, if you have a smoke detector activated on the main floor, as well as another floor, it won't actually say this floor, that floor. It'll just say smoke. So now I'm gonna be patient this time and I will cut the clip to when it actually goes off. Heads up, there's smoke upstairs. The alarm may sound, it's going to be loud. Heads up, there's smoke upstairs. The alarm may sound. It's going to be loud. So this is the main floor one. So it looks like it's cleared now. So now I'm gonna try and give it enough smoke to pass that threshold. Smoke. 
Heads up, there's smoke upstairs. The alarm may sound. Now I'm going to suck. There's smoke. Upstairs. Inside emergency. There's smoke upstairs. Emergency. There's smoke upstairs. This alarm can't be silenced. This alarm can't be silenced. Smoke levels are too high. Oak upstairs. Emergency. There's smoke upstairs. Press to silence. The smoke alarm is over. Now, let's test our basement one because we actually haven't tested the photoelectric chamber in that basement one. Basement here. Wait for these guys to activate. Downstairs. Emergency. There's smoke. Emergency. Downstairs. Smoke alarm silenced. Downstairs. Now one last test I'm going to do is do a no power test where I'm going to turn off the breaker to these guys. Go over to our electrical panel in the garage. So now we should be able to find it pretty easily. There we go, lighting and smoke alarms on a uh, normal breaker, not a tandem. There we go, as you may be able to see that AC light is off, so if we hit the smoke alarm. Heads up, the power is out in the entryway. Ready, in the entryway. Press to test. So now you can hit any of these ones and they'll basically tell you the trouble on the system. Heads up, the power is out upstairs. Heads up, there's smoke in the entryway. The alarm may sound. Okay, I'm gonna turn the breaker back on since we have some UPSs running. And I don't want to let those run out of battery. One last item we have in this house is this CO detector, which is mainly in here because of the hot water tank. So yes, this guy will just hit the test button. Well guys, that was my test. So again, I don't really have a way to test the CO safely. So that was the best I could do. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Any comments, leave those down below. Thanks for watching. Smoke alarm is over.